My name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Ceilings by Lizzie McAlpine which is a beautiful acoustic track. I'll teach you exactly the way that she plays it in her live acoustic performance which I'll leave a link to in the description below. For the basics you'll just need a guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the second fret of your guitar. If you want to master your chords back to front then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve any guitar in general then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium which is my complete step by step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. So first off, I'm just gonna show you the strumming pattern that we're gonna use throughout the entire song. And it's really nice and simple. It's just down, down, up, down, up. And in succession, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now, two of those short strumming patterns will cover a full bar. One other thing to note is that this song is in six, eight timing. So it's got a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, feel to it. So now let's get stuck into the intro slash verse, which is really nice and simple. And there's just two lines of chords here. So we're going to start with a C add nine. So to play this, have your middle finger on the third fret of the fifth string, your next finger on the second fret of the fourth string and ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And we're just going to strum from the fifth string onwards with this chord. You don't want that sixth string ringing out. So in order to mute that, you could just use your thumb to lightly touch that sixth string or you can even use your middle finger to lightly touch it whilst it's fretting the third fret of the fifth string. So we have a C add nine and that's gonna be played for one full bar, which is two of those short strumming patterns, which will sound like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, when strumming this, Lizzie McAlpine actually uses the side of her thumb to strum. And that way you get a really nice and warm sort of sound with your strumming. You could also use a guitar pick as well, but it's completely up to you. One little tip when you're strumming with the side of your thumb is to just make sure that you're just gliding the edge of your thumb across the strings when you're going down and up. You don't need to dig into the strings. Our next chord is an E minor seven. So from this C add nine, just keep your ring finger where it is and put your index and middle fingers on the second frets of the fifth and fourth strings. Now with the E minor seven, you can have all six strings ringing out. We're gonna strum this for a full bar. Then we go back to a C add nine for one full bar. And then for the final bar, we go to a G chord. So from the C add nine, just move your index and middle finger up one string. And then we go to a D slash F sharp. So again, just keep your ring finger where it is and put your index and middle fingers on the second frets of the sixth and third strings. And we just strum up to the second string there. So that's a D slash F sharp. Now those two chords are contained within the one bar. So they're played for one of the short patterns each. So down, down, up, down. Down, 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 down. That's it for the first line of chords, which sounds like this. For the second line of chords, we go back to a C add nine for one full bar, back to E minor seven for one full bar, and then we play a D add 11. Now, technically this is a D at 11 slash A, but I'm just gonna call it a D at 11 for simplicity. So to play this, we have our ring and pinky fingers on the fifth frets of the sixth and fifth strings, middle finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string and index finger on the third fret of the second string. So this is our D at 11, and we're gonna play this for two bars. And that's everything for the intro and verse, which will sound like this. The next section to learn is the chorus, which is two lines of chords. So for the first line of chords, we have our C and nine, and this is gonna be played for two full bars. And then we go to a G for one full bar, and then finally a D slash F sharp for one full bar. So that's it for the first line of chords, and that's played through twice. 
And then for the second line of chords, we play an E minor add nine. So this is a really beautiful sounding chord. It's got a really bitter sweet feel to it. So our next finger goes on the second fret of the fifth string and then ring or pinky finger up to you goes onto the fourth fret of the fourth string. And you can strum all the strings there. So we play that for two full bars. Then after that we go to the D at 11, we strum that for one full bar. And then after that we strum it once and hold it out for one full bar. So that's it for chorus one, which sounds like this. Next we get to verse two. So the first half of verse two is the same as verse one, but then we have a verse variation which slightly differs to the normal verse. So we've got two lines of chords here. The first line of chords is identical to the first line of chords of the first verse. Now for the second line of chords, we have our C add nine for one full bar, and then we go to a B11. So for the B11, we're just going to shift our index and middle finger down one fret, and our ring finger comes up to the second fret of the third string and we're strumming from the fifth string onwards and that's our B11. Then we go back to a C add nine for one full bar and then finally we play our D at 11. And we're just gonna strum that once and hold it out for the full bar. So the second line of chords of the verse variation will sound like this. thing to learn is chorus 2 which is similar to chorus 1. The only exception here is that the first line of chords is played through four times not twice and the other thing is that the first line of chords changes the strumming pattern. So instead of playing down down up down up down down up down up for a full bar we are changing that to all down strums for a full bar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and that will cover a full bar. So I'll play through chorus two. Now the first line of chords, I'll just play through once, not four times, and then I'll move to the second line of chords where we return back to our original strumming pattern. So that will sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's everything you need to learn for this beautiful song. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song with a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to Charlotte June for lending her beautiful vocals to this playthrough. I'll leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description below. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.